today I want to talk about the one document that every traveler should have. The one legal document every traveler should have before their plane takes off. Now many people think about having a will in place if something should happen on an international trip or a flight or overseas or a cruise. I'm coming to you live right now from a beach in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And that's what brought this topic to mind. And while a will is important to make sure your assets get to those you love, for many people, what I believe is of primary importance is their own health. And many people don't realize that once you turn age 18, you become a legal adult, fully emancipated from your parents. But this also means any person over the age of 18, suddenly your parents no longer have access to your uh, medical records if something should happen to you. So if you are unmarried and fit in that age group over 18 but not yet a spouse, or even a uh, single, you know, not married above that age, even if you're married, you need this health care power of attorney in place to decide who you want to make health care decisions for you if you're ever incapacitated. So the one document I believe every traveler over the age 18 should have is a fully executed health care power of attorney. And what this document does is it names an agent, someone who can act on your behalf in the event that you are ever incapacitated and unable to make decisions for yourself. So the classic example for this would be being, let's say, in a coma. So you're alive, but in a coma, you cannot communicate with your doctors. Well then, within the healthcare power of attorney, you can make some basic decisions about uh, feeding tubes and life support and things like that, but you also want to name an agent who you know well, you trust, and who knows your philosophy on life and health care, who could talk to the doctors and make the decisions for you about whether we should do this surgery or that drug or try this thing next while you're in the coma, for example. So that's why I believe every traveler over the age of 18, I believe you should have a will or trust in place as well, but for sure your own health is of primary importance and I recommend having a fully executed healthcare power of attorney uh, signed and witnessed before your plane takes off on that great trip. And just one last thing, you should form the healthcare power of attorney in the state in which you reside. So wherever you live and are domiciled and pay taxes, that's the state where you should form the healthcare power of attorney because it's likely if you were abroad in another country they would bring you back to the U.S. for treatment. Uh, and if you're in a country that has a treaty with the U.S., they should also recognize U.S. law. So again, the one document every traveler should have is a fully executed health care power of attorney. That's all for now, and we'll see you next time.